America's top Ivy League schools are under fire. The fallout for elite college presidents continues after being grilled during a congressional testimony about how to handle anti-Semitism and hate behavior on college campuses. One of the three Democratic presidents is now out of a job, and as CBS's Nicole Killian reports, she may not be alone. Amid calls for her removal, supporters of Harvard President Claudine Gay rallied to her defense, from alumni to staff. More than 700 faculty members signed a letter urging Harvard's governing boards to resist political pressures that are at odds with Harvard's commitment to academic freedom. History professor Allison Frank Johnson co-authored the letter. We need to make decisions about leadership uh, based on a sober view of what a person has done and what they have the potential to do and not in a moment of, moment of panic. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. Gay's response at a congressional hearing last week, along with the presidents of MIT and University of Pennsylvania, ignited a political firestorm. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Saturday, Penn President Liz McGill resigned. I would say it's bittersweet. A.L. Yacobi is a senior at Penn who attended the hearing. And I think what it exposed is what a lot of us have been saying for, for a while now, is that there's a sense of moral ambivalence when it comes to anti-Semitism. Following McGill's resignation, Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik posted on X, one down, two to go. Michael Roth is president of Wesleyan University. President, I hope they don't lose their job because they would then be subject to these outside forces, the Republican congresswomen on the one hand, but also these big donors who are trying to throw their weight around. And I think that's not good for the long range health of these schools. Miguel will stay on as president here at the University of Pennsylvania until her replacement is named, and she will continue in a tenured faculty position. The House Education Committee has launched an investigation into Penn, MIT, and Harvard, as well as other schools. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Philadelphia.